Victory Auto Wreckers uh, was created in the 1940s, right after the end of World War II, and all kinds of companies were adding Victory to their name because of oh. World War World War II. Mm -hmm. The Weisner family bought Victory Auto Wreckers in 1967. They've owned it since then, and their commercial on television has become one of the most famous, right? It's, it's kind of like one of those commercials in Chicago that everyone who grew up here or has watched Channel 9 can repeat. It's part of the soundtrack of Chicago's childhood. It's very true. For many people. Very true. My first week at WGN, I recorded the Victory Auto Records commercial. This was 1991, and that commercial has been on uh, ever since then. This is Kyle Weisner, who is the owner of Victory Auto Records, and you decided you want to enjoy your life a little yeah. bit. You want to relax a little bit. I'm, I'm done with the 80-hour 80 80 hour weeks. Yeah. It's time to uh, see what golfing, I understand this is a new sport. That's, that's a thing. out there that I'd like to learn how to play maybe and just do something that doesn't involve getting up at 5 in the morning. That'd yeah. be fun too. Yeah. Wow. Well, Anna and I have both said, how have we never been out here before, right? To watch these cars get wrecked. And so the ones that we're going to see now that go into this uh, crusher, I was asking you, Kyle, are all the parts gone or how long do they stay in the lot until they're barren or how does it work? Uh, the cars stay for about a week. Mm -hmm. uh, we do let the customers go in and take parts off if they take a lot of stuff or even if they don't take anything. At mm -hmm. the end of the week, it comes out and crush it. Because this is really, I, I mean, you know, it, it's about people coming out here to buy auto parts, but this is like a major recycling center also. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's the majority of our business is recycling. Is it? Yes. So from here, where do they go after they're crushed like this? Uh, they're going to go to a shredder uh, oh where gosh. the machine uh, breaks it into pieces of metal about the size of your fist, and it separates the ferrous from the non-ferrous. And then the, the stuff that is left over is called the fluff. It's the, the carpet, the seats, the glass, rubber. Kyle, is there still a demand for uh, for a place for a place like this? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's, a, it's a great business. Mm -hmm. um, it's just it's just a lot of work. A lot of work. Um, it's hard to really automate it. You need to have boots on the ground. Yeah. I've got great employees. Some of the guys, the guy that's loading this right now, mm -hmm. he started when he was 17 years old and he's 62. So this giant crusher is going to come go. down and turn this car into nothing, which is here. Slowly being lowered. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a fast process. It, it's not it, it a fast process, but what the kids would call it is satisfying. Satisfying. <laughs> Highly satisfying. Highly satisfying. Here we go. While we're waiting for this thing to come down and crush the original guy from the Victory Auto Records commercial who the door falls off on, Bob Zidell is his name. He will be joining us uh, after 9 o'clock. I don't know the, what, part of the greatest thing is listening to the cars yeah. being crushed. Right? The crunch. And you can bring your old car because it's worth money November until November 18th, but doors close November 30th. That is correct. We'll have to take a quick break and we'll be right back.